We brought together a team of five professionals from three cities to imagine a revolutionary new care system that leverages already existing infrastructure. These architects, interior designers, and urban planners address three pressing challenges in primary care, convenience and access, equity, and quality. The result is Fair to Care, a next-generation cost-effective solution to simultaneously expand and de-stress the health system while improving population health. With this new model, primary care is going places. Patients and doctors both have limited availability, which makes waiting weeks or even months to get an appointment all too common. On top of that, patients face long waits, frequent cancellations, missed work, and more. It's the humdrum um, part of healthcare that a lot of people ignore. You know, you have up to half of the U.S. population foregoing access to primary care because of how inconvenient it is. And even as the healthcare delivery model shifts from hospitals to community clinics, for large cities, this transition has never been equal or enough. An individual in an economically stressed urban area might be more than five miles away from the nearest care center or clinic, which is one of the reasons why large population areas suffer from some of the highest rates of disease and premature death from preventable conditions. We decided on um, preventative health or uh, primary care is because it's um, usually underrated. Uh, not a lot of uh, innovations and investment has been uh, done to primary health. When you consider the facts that physicians devote 33% of their time to non-patient care tasks and insured adults in high population cities are skipping preventative care, the need for a better primary care model cannot be understated. Fair to Care is a primary care ecosystem that is utilized through existing public transportation. F2C itself is a care car that attached to a public train that we partner with uh, in any city, anywhere. Patients can access uh, the care car to get their primary care um, on the way to work, on the way to wherever they're commuting to. We have over 8,000 miles of metro rail in this country that Fair to Care can be deployed on. That is thousands of stations across the country. What excites me most is um, uh, providing health care where people are. Um, instead of having them come to a brick and mortar facility, if you're meeting them on the commute, on their day-to-day -day business, because that's a, just a different realm that healthcare has never really tried to breach before. The technology of F2C, um, what it does best is to uh, utilize the information it has and build the patient's journey. When you think about the patients being late to the, the appointment, the system will automatically inform them that and suggest that this appointment time will not work for you and your schedule. Since you commute round trip, you, you always go to the train stations at least twice a day. If it runs long, you can pick it up when you re-enter the, the train or the next day. It's always there at your convenience. When we think about existing hospitals, we think about one existing location. What we're trying to do with Fair to Care is to break that down into nodes and distribute those throughout the community. So FairCare is actually designed with the virtual medicine in mind. Unless there's a the dire need to require the immediate intervention by the physical physician or nurses, the system itself is, is integrated with the telemedicine to interact with the nearby hospital and clinics. It also de-stresses the healthcare system. Um, healthcare providers themselves get barraged with a lot of uh, requests or a lot of appointments during, let's say, flu season or during certain times of the year. What this does is it basically spreads out these appointments throughout the year so there is a better um, stress management not just for the care seekers but also for the care providers. What's unique about it is that we're using um, what's already there, existing infrastructure and evolve it and um, revolutionizing how people would see public transportation. We were looking at um, the San Francisco system, for example, and they'll have 775 cars in their fleet um, being deployed in the near future. And if we deploy just two care cars per train of 10 to 12 trains, you're talking eight care cars, that's about 600 available primary care modules in BART's mass transit system at any given point in time. You know, that's up to 12,000 appointments available in any given day on their mass transit system. That's 12,000 more appointments in their capacity to treat patients than what they had before. Fair to Care's reach allows it to address a variety of population health concerns, including mass screenings and vaccinations. 
Additionally, our design thinking approach, including observational studies and user personas, led to a modular system that's particularly beneficial for those who have been left behind by existing primary care. Folks like Flora, Dewey, and Carl. Flora is a single mother. Um, she has a child on the spectrum, Anna. Flora herself actually is dealing with um, diabetes, and so she gets two regular checkups a day um, to test her insulin and just to keep on top of her diabetic um, needs. She has 45 minutes into the city and 45 minutes out. She can use that time to address her healthcare needs in a much more convenient way. So Dewey is uh, a college student who had an accident and is now bound to a wheelchair as he goes through physical therapy. And so the fact that the system is accessible to someone like him in a wheelchair, that it's convenient to use to get him from place to place and doesn't require him to not just take off hours, but maybe half the day even to make a primary care appointment is really convenient to him. Carl is an engineer and he travels quite a bit around the city and the region uh, on different projects. He just gets exposed to a little bit more germs than the rest of us. But when he stepped into the train station, the ecosystem of sensors um, that Fair to Care provides identified that he had an elevated temperature. And so he went to a care car to follow up. For Flora, Dewey, and Carl, and the thousands of others who could benefit from Fair to Care, each step of their healthcare experience is as convenient as possible. So a key component of, of the Fair to Care is using app technology. What the app will let you do is let you book the appointment, follow up on the previous appointments, or simply look up what's upcoming schedule so that you can go in the car that specifically tailors your need. Technology is really at every corner of the system, from the notification you get on your phone letting you know that you have an appointment, to the smart signage in the subway system letting you know where you need to stand or where you need to go to, to get to your healthcare pod. F2C allows people to um, access a system not with just their personal mobile uh, devices. We have the option to offer them a smart ticket. Next, as commuters are scanned at the gate, our patients are provided with the utmost privacy. We have three layers between you and everyone else. First is controlled access into the care car itself, and then a controlled waiting space, and then to actually access the care module, you need either your fare card or your phone. The cars and stations are also technological powerhouses for keeping our cities safe. So the infection controls dealt with the inclusion of UVC light as well as HEPA filters on the fair to care cars themselves. And the train station will also have a similar level of cleanliness using the automated and computer cleaning system. Patients then get to communicate with their doctors and access advanced care that they otherwise couldn't at home or even at a traditional facility. Flora, in one module, receives her regular insulin injections, which are more convenient and affordable than the one she had to administer at home. In another, Anna is provided with an immersive behavioral environment and immediate therapy access, alleviating her of any social anxiety. Dewey is able to pick up his medications with ease and with the unit's body scan and intuitive smart system, receive a checkup for recent mild fatigue, all without any special accommodations. Finally, Carl, as he receives a robotic IV transfusion, is virtually monitored by a doctor who suggests a hospital visit for additional testing, and Fair to Care can take him there with ease. The result of leveraging existing public infrastructure to address both primary care shortcomings and our city's dire population health needs is truly remarkable. Consider the fact that 608 exams like Carl's or Dewey's are possible at any given time with Fair to Care. That scale of transit accessible care and telemedicine means more time with families and more time doing what we love. It means more inclusive college experiences and healthier urban areas. It means never thinking twice about whether or not an appointment can fit into our schedules. Our world is only getting busier, the need for preventative care to adapt increasing every day. But Fair to Care is ready to make primary care more accessible, equitable, and better for all.